I dimly remember a test question from class 8. Name a compound of nitrogen and hydrogen that is a colorless gas with a sharp smell. Chemistry was not my strongest subject, but I had long been intrigued by the concept of smelling salts, having read about them on the guffaw-inducing pages of P.G. Woodhouse's Jeeves and Wooster books. Ladies of Woodhousean England always seem to have smelling salts handy, just in case the goings-on around them made them feel faint, which frequently they did. These fictional recurrences piqued my curiosity enough for me to investigate the salts that these ladies smelled in order to regain their consciousness. It turns out that smelling salts are essentially ammonia, which explains their consciousness reviving aroma. And so, thanks to Woodhouse, I became conscious of the properties of good old NH3 and was thus able to get the answer to at least one chemistry test question right. We get the word ammonia from sal ammoniac, which is the old name for ammonium chloride. Sal ammoniac literally means salt of Ammon. It has this name because it was first discovered near the temple of Amun, the Egyptian god of life and reproduction. Amun was rendered as Ammon by the Romans and equated with their god Jupiter. According to one story, worshippers would park their camels when they went to pray at the shrine of Amun. Enterprising locals would sell the dung-infused sand for its sal ammonia content. Apparently, ammonia is still made from camel dung in modern Egypt. The term ammonia was coined as a derivation of sal ammoniac by Swedish chemist Torburn in 1872. The reason so many have fussed over ammonia since ancient times is that it was and continues to be a useful chemical and not just as smelling salts. Produced in antiquity by fermenting urine with bacteria, it was used in the tanning of hides, in the cleaning and dyeing of fabric, and in the removal of rust from iron. German chemists Fritz Haber and Karl Bosch devised a way to mass-produce ammonia by directly combining nitrogen and hydrogen. This is considered one of the biggest technological advances of the 20th century. It paved the way for the mass production of fertilizer, thereby transforming world agriculture and dramatically increasing the world's food supply. Today, ammonia continues to be used to manufacture many useful things like pharmaceuticals and cleaning products. So while we may wrinkle our noses at its smell, we cannot disdain its importance in our lives. I'm the English Nut and it's bye for now. Like this content? Do subscribe, like, comment, share, tag your friends from one English nut to another. Thank you.